So my name is Courtney Shattuck. I'm an environmental scientist for the Division for Air Quality. Uh, my primary job function is to uh, go to sources that have air quality permits and determine compliance. So this is the nasal ranger. This is one of the pieces of equipment that we use when we go out and investigate an odor complaint. One of the other aspects of our job is dealing with citizen complaints. And those complaints could be um, dust or open burning or odor odor complaints and that's one of the more interesting aspects of our job is, is dealing with odor complaints. So we will attach the nose piece to the end of the nasal ranger and turn it on and you'll see some lights flashing. Um, those lights will let us know if we are inhaling at the uh, proper speed basically. So people call us and they say it smells bad smells bad outside and we have to go out there and, and using our instrumentation and determine if it smells too bad, which can be, you know, an interesting and kind of awkward thing for us to do. So we'll put it up to our nose and then we'll breathe in and we want to breathe at a rate where we're getting the bulls of the green bullseye. The minus is that we're not breathing enough and the plus is that we're breathing too hard. So we will continue breathing like this in and out through our nose for a minute and a half. And that's making sure that um, there's no nose fatigue and also making sure that our activated carbon is still good. We get, we get odor complaints from, from landfills, from asphalt plants, from um, food flavoring facilities, from any wastewater treatment plants. But I recently went out to an odor complaint um, of a pig farm and it wasn't your typical huge pig farm, it was um, an individual who had maybe five or six pigs and he was in a dispute with his neighbor and decided to put his pigs right on the edge of the property line. Um, so I had to go out and determine compliance with our odor standard as I stood maybe five feet away from a bunch of pig manure. So it can be applied to, to many, many different situations. What was the outcome? They were in violation of the odor standard. Yep. So after doing this for a minute to a minute and a half, then we will turn the dial to the seven to one position and breathe in and out just like we did and determine if we smell anything. If we smell any odor while we do this, then they're in violation of the odor standard. So the state of Kentucky has an odor regulation that states that um, a source cannot have an odor at or above seven dilutions to threshold, which means if you have one part of dirty air mixed with seven parts of cleaned air, there can be no odor. So one of the nice things about um, Kentucky's regulation is that it is a specific seven to one dilutions to threshold. So it makes it very easy for us when we go out um, to say if, if there's a violation or not. It's pretty embarrassing when you're standing on the side of the road with this thing up on your nose. You have a lot of people kind of do a double take and look at you and say, what are they doing? You know, what are they holding up to their nose? So, do they slow down? They do, they slow down. A lot of times they'll stop and ask what we're doing. It sort of looks like a radar detector that the police use. So I think they're worried that we're tracking their speed.